All right, let's start this one out here. Uh, this challenge, we have some keys that are going to help us unlock this chest. The rule was either of these keys can open up the chest. Let's tackle that one first. You'll see the player already has some variables made for us. Has key gold, has key silver. Okay, those are the ones we're going to use. And you'll see they're turned to one when the keys are picked up. So that's already been coded in there for you. So let's go to touching the chest and add a little code in here. Basically, we've set our speed to zero. Now I'm just going to ask a quick question. If has key gold is a one. Now I also need to know maybe they have the silver key because the silver key can open it as well. Okay, so this condition is with a classic or. Or has key silver is one. Remember, there's two ways to open. Either that's true or that's true. Okay, they don't both have to be true. Now, if they are both true, I want to tell the chest to change its graphic. Now, I'm currently coded inside of the player. To tell the chest to change graphic, we'll just say with other. Remember, I was colliding with the chest. And I'll just put the code, which you're sort of given in your extra bonus code in this challenge, was you tell the sprite index to change. And you just name the sprite. And our sprite is chest open. This doesn't change the object. It's still going to be a chest object. The only difference is, is its sprite just changes to look open. And let's close off our if statement. And that's it. Now if I give this a test, I try to touch it. Nothing. I take the key, touch it, and it opened. Now if I rerun it and touch it with that key, I can pretty well guarantee you it'll also work as well. So that's pretty good. Okay, challenge part one done. Just for those that like a bit more action in your games, remember what a nice thing to do is, if has key is this, with other, blah, blah, blah. Remember, it's always nice. You could always put an else statement in there. You know, you could show a message. You could play a sound. Right? Give the user some feedback, like, er, sorry, can't open it, right? So we're just doing the basics here to practice our ifs. Okay, next part was inside of the room, there was a lock. And the lock said you needed both keys to open the lock. So basically, this should be a fast one. We just go to hitting the lock. And I'm just going to ask basically the same question has key gold equals one. The only difference this time is they have to have both keys. So you probably figured out that this one is your and statement. And then the code will be exactly the same here. Okay, and then this one should work. So we need both. Let's give it a go. So if I touch the lock, nothing. Touch a key, nothing. Both keys. Oh, that was a little silly of me. I turned the key into an open chest. That sort of makes no sense. We were supposed to destroy it. You are probably saying that while you are watching the video here, so that's okay. Instance, destroy. Okay. Anyways, I'm confident that will work. Okay, so hopefully you've got that one down. Okay, nice use of the end. Now the last one was you need one of the keys only and all the coins to open the room door. Now when we see the room door here, I have one, two, three, four, five coins. The player has a variable called coins. That adds up every time they pick up a coin. That's already coded in there for you. Okay, so when they hit a coin, it's going up by one. So let's go to the door. If you're wondering why the speed equals zeros aren't working, I'll explain that at the very end of this video. Okay, my question. Now, the condition here, okay, just to be really clear, is either key 
Plus you have to have all, I'm trying to count them again, how many coins there were in the room. And all five coins, okay, are going to do it. So we hit the door. Whoops. Player collides with door. If. Okay, one big requirement was if the coins value was five. And now here's where it may get tricky for some of you, right? The logic can start to get harder with some games. But, you know, these ones aren't too bad. You need five coins and you also need something else. Now you need this coin or, sorry, you need this key or that key. Now when you start to write this out, I'll just write it out this way first. Has key gold as one or has key gold. Silver is one. Now I'll fill this in in a bit. This can be a little confusing if you don't memorize little rules. Like does it do this and say if the coins is five and has a gold key or the player has a silver key. Or is it saying if coins is five and has a gold key or a silver key. Okay, there are a set of rules, and we'll go over them another time, put them in the notes for you. But if you want to be sure that these two are grouped together, you're free to put your brackets there. Okay, now these are definitely grouped as one sort of condition. So it'll say if the coins is five, and it'll figure out the answer to this, okay, whether that's true or whether that's false. Okay, it has gold as one, or has key as silver. Okay, so you're free to use these brackets whenever you want for when your if statements start to get a little more complicated. And I think we just needed to destroy the door. So we could say, with the other, instance destroy. And that's it. Let's give this a run. And that's our nice Super tricky if and or statement. So you'll see the door doesn't open. I go to grab one key. One key shouldn't do it. Even if I have all the coins. Now I have one key and all the coins. And the door opens and off I go. Perfect. Now, if you guys are wondering why the speed command wasn't working in all my collisions, there's a little reason here is, is even though I said the player is a speed zero, on the very next step, they're pressing up, down, left, right. They're actually plowing through the object. Even though the speed's been set to zero, the key is giving them a little speed again. What I should have done there was like selected the door object and made the door solid. Then the person can't plow through it. And I could have done the same thing for the key or the chest if I wanted to. Okay, but the door should have been solid, definitely, so the player can't go through. Those are the solutions to that one. Hopefully you did those on your own. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.